What's up my single chats and Call of Duty beta testers, how are y'all doing my brothers and sisters? Today we got massive leaks about Black Ops Gulf War, which is gonna be the next Call of Duty game that is gonna be coming out this year. Activision and Microsoft, they already confirmed that we're gonna be getting it in October. And a lot of people are shaking. Oh, we got the oh, homie, shaking. we got the homie, Mr. Garlic JD, Mr. Dalek JD, he's shaking too. Like the video, subscribe. And let's see what's The marketing happening. for Black Ops 2024 might be happening sooner than we think, as the logo for this year's Black Ops may have been discovered a little bit early. All rumors suggest that this year's game is going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War. Uh -huh. And in the last 24 hours, a new logo was discovered by legitimate gamers over oh, on damn. Twitter. An absolute legend in the community when it comes to- Man, back in the days when logos would get discovered, man, the hype would be crazy. Like, I never even- I haven't even seen anybody make a video on this situation. Creating though. renders Other and custom- and Call of Duty graphics. He was looking at a website for a studio called Koto.studio who created the new version of the Call of Duty logo that we saw during the end of MW2. The website has a massive post discussing how they changed the logo after 20 years and how the font <laughs> they created is now part of every iteration. Man, can a brother get a good game though? These suckers be proud of changing the logo after 20 years. They, ju they just got like one extra like pixel change and they're they're proud of that. of this new typeface that activision will use scrolling down the page shows a ton of graphics where this font is used in all sorts of different ways but right near the bottom uh, but but i gotta say like the artwork is very very good but we strictly talking about the logo like imagine changing logo after 20 years and changing like one little pixel and be proud but let's see we also got zombie stuff in it too i'm hearing them it's a 3d render of a hoodie with all sorts of logos plastered over it but on one of the sleeves at the very top is a brand new logo never seen before and this oh. is a newly designed black ops logo because this graphic oh, doesn't shit. have a pause you're gonna have to constantly keep watching it to see that flash of the black ops but can a brother perhaps get a pause though? logo but this is the first time we have ever seen Damn. this version of the black ops logo we've got it above the iconic warzone mw3 and cod next logos which are also all in this brand new font now up until now the black ops logo has yeah, bro. So yeah, man. Two claps, two claps. But zombie stuff is coming in too. I'm excited for zombies. It's remained unchanged since 2010 with that classic yeah. font. And it looks like it might be changing. Fit wow. this new modern font. <laughs> and legitimate gamers recreated this logo and posted it on Twitter so we can see what Dang. this new logo looks like. With they just changed the font to bold that and called it a day, bro. Like... But I, I get it, like, this is not primarily just about the logo, this is about the fact that, yep, they are getting ready to tease the game, I get that, and we're just kind of, like, joking around, because, and, and any of you excited about the game? Because usually, whenever stuff like that would happen, everybody would be shaking, everybody would be making videos, this time, like, I'm only seeing Dalek make a video, and I guess myself included now, uh, covering the story for you guys both too, the but... new Black Ops font, along with what the Gulf War part of the logo might look like, but why would this new logo be there if it a new black ops game wasn't coming this just yeah. fully confirms that this year a black ops game is 100 percent on the table because this re it, it was confirmed no uh, or technically not necessarily confirmed they confirmed that a new cod is coming that's that's true but the rest of it is just leaks that it's gonna be called black ops gulf war i, I think yeah this confirms black ops but apparently there's zombies the design too, right? logo would not exist if a new black ops game wasn't coming now like i said at the start of the video we believe that the game is heavily rumored to be called call of duty black ops gulf war very similar to the naming for black ops cold war just call it black ops 6 though why complicated though because black ops cold war in a way it's black ops 5 but they did not call it black ops 5 so it's not in a way but it still is like the fifth black ops if we're not counting in that black ops declassified game that came out on ps vita any of you played on ps Bruh. vita i i never really got the chance but have you but it is very interesting to see that this is simply a logo for Black Ops. There is not a Gulf War part of that logo. Yeah. So then that makes you question, well, is this actually going to be Black Ops Gulf War? Or are they just going to completely reboot the Black Ops series and yeah. start over with this new game coming Ooh. out this year? just called black ops Yo, imagine they actually do that uh you guys think wl personally i'm i'm keen i'm looking forward to the treyarch game though because treyarch games are always better i mean their last game was black ops uh, cold war came in 2020 and let's be real right now looking back it's 
<laughs> it's the best Call of Duty game to come out in the last five years. I mean, you're talking about Van Garbage, Call of Duty Van Garbage, right? You're talking about Modern Warfare 3, I mean, the new version, Modern Warfare 2022, right? Come on, man, what are we talking about here, though? Black Ops Cold War, I, I go back to it, and it's actually quite fun, though, in comparison to all the latest Call of Duty games. Modern Warfare, it seemed a lot more plausible. It was a trilogy that rounded everything up. But with where we are with Black Ops Gulf War being a sequel to Cold War, that's still taking place between Black Ops 1 and 2, so that's firm still within a timeline yeah. of the narrative of the current Black Ops franchise. Yeah, so I don't think this is a reboot. Yeah, those of you that haven't been following the leaks, apparently we're hearing that we're going to be getting another Black Ops game in the year 2025. <laughs> I mean, I would rather a Black Ops game uh, rather than I guess, at Infinity Tart making another Modern Warfare game. Listen, man, I love Modern Warfare, but like, dog, they just completely chalked. Modern Warfare series is completely chalked because those bozos over at Infinity Tart, they're so hard-headed. And they, they're like, nah, bro, we, we, uh, we're listening to the feedback, but we're not going to do anything. And they're li literally just pissed on their, their fans' heads and just said that, no, bro, don't look up. It's just the rain. So Infinity Tart, one of the worst studio right now i would say secondly uh, it's like sledgehammer Se uh, sledgehammer games Bruh. better than better than infinity tart and trick is like the best studio and i would say raven kind of like the second best uh, uh, se uh raven is like the support studio kind of right at all but this is our very first look at the black ops logo but it doesn't end there with this page because we've got on a new call of duty zombies logo and yeah! this is something i was completely not expecting and i almost feel this is a mistake for them to have this on the website but near what? the top of the page they have a slideshow of different images where the font is used in different ways but there is one where it is simply showing a call of duty zombies logo Damn. with the modern warfare zombie Oh, shit. Damn. But they got Modern Warfare 3 Zombies look uh, in the background. Man, the art is so good, but the game mode was so trash, though. Yeah, uh, I, I personally did not buy Modern Warfare 3. I, I know there were some people that actually liked it, and that's fair, right? If you liked it, you liked it. You find it fun, you find it fun. But right now, everybody's like dogging on the zombies. Everybody's like, it's trash. Obviously! You should not be buying based on the honeymoon phase because you're like this, right? You're always like going up and down. You're like, it's going to be the best thing ever. Guys, come on, man. You cannot judge a game, especially in this day and age. I mean, I saw this come in. Most people saw this come in and they saw the writing on the wall with Van Garbage, Call of Duty Van Garbage with Call of Duty WW2 initially. Zombies hasn't been good, right? For the last several years. Uh, Black Ops Cold War exception, but even that wasn't as good as, let's just say, Black Ops 4 Zombies and Black Ops 4 Zombies wasn't as good as Black Ops 3 Zombies. The quality is deteriorating and I'm a fan of Zombies. Listen, I played World at War Zombies. I played Black Ops 1 Zombies. I played Black Ops 2 Zombies. I played Black Ops 3 Zombies and I gotta be honest, bro, like Black Ops 3 Zombies, Black Ops 2 Zombies was the peak Okay, uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies, amazing. Black Ops 3 Zombies, amazing too. Black Ops 1 Zombies, oh, hell yeah, I love it. World at War Zombies, for the time it was a masterpiece. Right now, it's just that it's very bare bones. But that doesn't mean that it was bad. I mean, that's what started it all. A and now, the quality is so bad that these seconds don't even make any zombies map. And these seconds just use Warzone assets to make zombies. And obviously, a lot of people didn't like that. This is why they didn't buy Pe Some people were like, bro, whatever, dude. I, 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 love, I love Warzone, bro, so I'm gonna play it. And they enjoyed it like I actually heard feedback from people that they enjoyed it and you know what that's good but right now it's like there's no bat no content no sauce and zombies they literally just killed it. It, it this was just their way to justify a $70 purchase no content for zombies just wars on zombies that's it that's all what you get but I hope it's not the case this time zombies artwork behind it and this logo is completely new we have never seen this before and it is the first time since black ops 3 that there's ever been been a brand new entirely dedicated logo for zombies as a whole rather Bruh. than a logo made for a specific games zombies mode and this That's opens crazy. a massive can of worms as to why this logo. i hope the zombies is good this time man but what are you thinking about logo exists and what activision are going to use it for and this is extremely exciting i mean dad they're gonna be using for zombies because if we look at this this is amongst call of duty Warzone, which is its own section on the main menu which houses a plethora of content completely separate to the base games of Modern Warfare 2 and 3. Man, the artwork is really good. I, I cannot take that away. Like, the art... These things put most, most of their money into marketing, <laughs> flying out the YouTubers and promoting their games through them and making sure, like, the ads are good, the uh, the marketing is good, the, the skins, obviously, they all, they also have that... Yay! Yay! Friendly! 
Okay. <laughs> They're obviously gonna make sure the the BBC bundles and uh, the the twenty dollars skins are good and the artwork. Man, this is where the money really goes. This is where their creativity goes. They don't care about the game nowadays, man. I hope Treyarch actually do it justice. To be honest, what if in the future there is gonna be a COD HQ section dedicated to Call of Duty Zombies that will house all of the zombies modes under one menu? I wouldn't even be surprised man. in the very near future we see this actually happen on cod hq when it comes to black ops golf war and then they can then we're gonna see like so many like sections already the map is complicated you uh, you constantly hear people uh talk crap and uh you, uh you obviously got so many bugs and sometimes the games don't launch it's missing this pack this content map pack right uh, you know if they add that then it's gonna increase those problems even further integrate some form of modern warfare 3 zombies and the new Gulf War zombies in the same menu because Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is Outbreak 2.0. In the game's code, it is labeled as Outbreak. So regardless if you count Modern Warfare Zombies as an Outbreak mode that's even remotely similar to Cold War's Outbreak, this could be where they could house the future iterations of Outbreak if they're going to have a Gulf War version as well as supporting... I, I wouldn't mind Out Outbreak 2.0. Uh, it's coming, first of all. But I wouldn't mind it, but I also hope that the, the, the round-based system... Uh, it uh, and the run based maps uh, are, are good and also zombies crew right i want a zombies crew back like the video if you want that subscribe and definitely check out this video on the screen because this is the last video and we had a lot of beta leaks for call of duty 2024 click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there